Hey, it's Jared with State of Tech. Today we're gonna to be talking about a PC and a stick that runs Windows 11. I'm gonna share some of the specs and some of the use cases and why this is a fantastic little device for the money uh, and all the things that it can do. So let's jump into it. So this is the uh, Mele, M-E-L-E, -E, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, uh, mini stick PC. It is a fanless PC, which means it's silent. It has everything that you need built into this little stick. Uh, it has Wi-Fi, it has Bluetooth, Windows 11 installed, and it can do a lot. It does have its limitations, so I'll be completely honest with that, but for the use cases that I'm going to just kind of walk through to give you some ideas, a PC like this is absolutely perfect. Now, you're probably wondering, well, why would I need something like this when there are lots of smart TVs and other smart uh, screens and stuff out there. Well, the challenges of utilizing smart screens. So for example, maybe you're looking at one of these because you want to put information up on a screen um, in a school, in a facility, in a restaurant, maybe having digital displays for menus or something like that. The issue is having to control those somehow and get the information to those screens. And that usually means networking and cables and all of that stuff. But if you have one of these plugged into the back of a screen, you've got Windows 11 running on it and you can actually remote into that from your other computer using something like a Chrome Remote Desktop or of course there's a variety of different tools that you can use for remoting into another computer. And something like this is a fantastic option. So before I get too deep there in the thoughts on how it can be used and how I've kind of tested out using it and my own personal experiences, let's Let's talk about the specs because you're probably wondering how powerful of a PC could this little tiny thing be? Now, it's not going to get you up on, uh, you know, your latest games. You're not going to be able to install games and play or do anything like that on this because it's just too underpowered for that. But it has plenty of power for handling a lot of tasks, which we'll jump into. So it does have Windows 11 Pro on there. And the reason that you would need Pro is so that you'd have those uh, capabilities built within Windows so that you can remotely control it from another computer uh, without having to have cables or anything like that because you've got Wi-Fi, you connect this to Wi-Fi, uh, and then it also has an Ethernet jack on the other side in case you do need to do that. But you can connect it to Wi-Fi and uh, uh, then the screen only has to be plugged into power and that's it. It's pretty fantastic. This does too, of course, and I'll get into that. So it has an Intel Gemini Lake Celeron J42, uh, J4125 processor, which is a very small processor, a very tiny processor, uh, but it can handle running Windows 11. It also has Intel HD graphics uh, 600, so Intel HD 600 graphics, which is what you would expect in a very uh, a very entry level laptop or something like a Chromebook. It has eight gigabytes of DDR4 memory, and this particular model that I have here has 128 gigabytes of RAM, and then of course it has uh, dual band Wi-Fi and uh, all that good stuff. So looking at the device itself, it has a connection port for the power, which essentially is just micro USB, and it does have a power adapter that has to be plugged in. So if you're gonna utilize this with a screen, you're gonna have to plug it into power. It will connect HDMI to your screen, and then you can connect the television or the screen to power as well. And it has two USB 3 uh, slots here, USB-A uh, 3 slots, and so very good transfer speed. So if you needed to plug in some sort of a uh, external drive or a reader to copy information over, it's gonna have fast copying speeds. On the other side of the device here, we have a little uh, micro SD card slot, which is also a way to load images and graphics and stuff like that onto the device. Uh, we have a ethernet port on the back. We've got a Kensington lock. And then we also have an audio out, like a headphone jack on uh, the device as well. This is really tiny. And I was thinking to myself, there's gotta be some limitations here, some things that are gonna make this unusable. Perhaps it being so small means it's gonna overheat. It doesn't have a fan. Um, and uh, how could this be enough of a PC to power Windows 11 Pro? Well, I've been using this for about a month for a variety of different 
different things. I've been using it just as a YouTube player on a screen, my other monitor that's on my, my desk. I've uh, plugged it into my television and tried loading things in like graphics or loopable videos um, to make for like a digital display or a digital menu experience. And I found that this is really uh, powered perfect for all of that stuff. It's meant, I think, to do those sorts of tasks where you need to push something out to a screen, whether you have a slideshow or a presentation or something like that that you want to push out, and you need more than just those Wi-Fi dongles that transfer information uh, via Wi-Fi instead of a cable. So while this is um, limited in its use cases because you're not going to be able to use it necessarily as a, a functional PC, I was able to browse the web just fine. I was able to check email and Gmail. I was able to watch YouTube videos. There were single tasks that I was able to do really well, but I couldn't really multitask. I did try and install Photoshop on here and just see how that would work. It took a while for Photoshop to open, but I was able to edit an image in Photoshop uh, it was a little slow and a little clunky, but nonetheless, it was still capable of doing those things. It has the performance of a very small laptop, like I said, a Chromebook, like an Intel-based Chromebook. And so with Windows 11 Pro being uh, pretty well optimized for devices like this, it does a good job, but it's not going to be a PC that you're going to be able to do any sort of heavy lifting on. So interesting little device. I'd love to hear uh, your thoughts. I know that uh, this won't be probably one of the most popular videos that I put out, but the reason that I'm talking about this is because the common thing is to send things remotely or use functions of a smart TV or a smart screen. And when you can plug something like this in and get Windows 11 directly into a screen, I think it's something worth checking out, uh, especially for those of you with businesses that want to implement screens and don't want to spend a ton of money on expensive solutions. This and a regular TV, flat screen TV, is going to get you up and running really easily. So if you have any questions, let's talk about it down in the comment section below, but that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for checking it out. I hope you subscribe to State of Tech, and we'll see you back in another one soon. Take care.